so it has happened to all of us. We've always put our trust in man at some point on this earth. We always have, and we may still do it from time to time, but we really have to keep ourselves in check with the Lord. We really do. I have to read three scriptures to you, three portions of scriptures. The first one is Psalm 118, verse 8. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. The Lord warns us time and time again in the word to trust him and not trust man. We oftentimes put way too much trust in man. And as we do that, we will always, always be let down. Your husband, your wife, your mom and dad, your kids, any relatives, any close family member, friends and acquaintances, your boss, co-workers, I don't care where you go, I don't care where you roam, you put too much trust in man, you will always be let down. I have learned that 100% from experience. And the Word of God most importantly teaches us. He teaches us. If we dig into the Word again, He teaches us. Don't put all your hope, your trust, your faith in man. We're all going to disappoint each other. The faster that we get a hold of that and grab it and just cling to that in our hearts, the more we learn, don't bother to trust man. When we trust man, we will always be let down, you guys. Always. The second portion of scripture I want to read to you is Jeremiah 17, verses 5 to 7. This is what the Lord says. He says this. Cursed is the one who trusts in a man, who depends on flesh for his strength, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. We have to be so careful. He will be like a bush in the wastelands. He will not see prosperity when it comes. He will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. Verse 7, but blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Again, God just told us right there, don't trust in man, trust in him. And over in Micah chapter 7, verse 5, do not trust a neighbor. Put no confidence in a friend, even with her who lies in your embrace, be careful of your words. When you think you can go to man and tell them all your little secrets, you know where we need to run to before we run to any man on earth, and I've learned this from years ago. Run to God first. We always want to run to family and friends and co-workers and you know relatives, friends, acquaintances and poured our hearts about this and that and this and that. When you start to lean on God more, it builds your faith in Him even more because He's always going to see you through. But every single time we go and rely on anybody, any flesh, I'm talking about our own husbands and wives as well. You have to be very careful. You'll always be let down. You have to be very careful. Run to God. Anytime you feel low and you feel you have no strength and you feel things are just not right in your life, don't run to man. Man will always bring up your past. They don't do it intentionally, but it just happens. Run to God. All your secrets are safe with God. And he'll help you work out everything that's wrong in your life. You just have to rely on him more and more and more. Trust in God. Stop trusting in man. That is where we all go wrong as humans. Stop trusting man and go to God, you guys. Stay blessed.